What's up everyone? This is TCG Dad back with another secret layer opening. Um, today we've got the um, Secret Layer X Mischief um, box. Um, this came out in 2021, um, contains five cards, and is a collaboration between uh, Wizards of the Coast and the Brooklyn-based Mischief um, Art Collective. So if you guys want to check them out online, they've got some interesting uh, collabs they've done. They've done some sneaker and um, kicks collabs, and uh, I think the Big Red Boot is one of the ones that they're known for. That's really interesting. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and actually, you know, before we start, I just wanted to thanks, thank everyone for the support and uh, remind you that we do have a 100th subscriber prize. Um, once we get to 100 subs, um, we are going to um, pick one of you 100 beautiful people at random and send you these two cards. Uh, I revealed on our Pokemon video earlier um, the card that'll come in the, in the sort of custom made slab. Yeah, that's the Rayquaza EX from Dragons Exalted. Um, for the Magic the Gathering fans, um, this set came out a number of years ago and Rayquaza is my son's favorite Pokemon. It's a very a good condition um, hollow foil card, uh, which I think you'd enjoy, um, you know, perhaps starting your Pokemon collection uh, out with. And then we also have the secret layer bonus card um, that is the Swamp. So uh, thanks so much again for everyone's support. Here's the uh, work in progress um, label which I've got um, for us. I think I'll actually turn this into a black label since those are all the craze. Um, so again, you don't want to miss out. Make sure you're subscribed if you're watching this content and let's get into this secret layer. Thank you for being a part of secret layer. Right away we can see a bit of a difference in that this is a red box. And I'm not sure if any of these cards in here are peelable. I don't know if I'm rem remembering that correctly. Um, but I guess we'll find out. I haven't done a ton of research on the actual individual cards because I wanted to be surprised a bit. So beautiful red box here, Secret Layer X Mischief. We'll put that off to the side here where you can still sort of see it. Then we've got our standard Secret Layer box, the way they used to come packaged. And right off the bat, we get the card that I bought a single of because it was so beautiful, um, Swords to Plowshares. Let me just go ahead and make sure our bonus card is in good condition it is I'll just put that off to the side let's just take a quick look at the Pringling it is I would say just very slightly Pringled um, otherwise it seems like it's in good condition so that's the bonus card I'm not exactly sure which one that is and then let's see how much glue they put on these not so bad this actually comes off pretty easily oh, the top one did anyway and then we've got five cards in here, so we'll go ahead and take a look at those first. Just like in the last video, I'll put the prices up next to the uh, the cards in, in, in terms of current market prices. I use uh, TCG Player. Um, and let me just see where the best point of focus is. Okay, perfect. So for the first card we have, um, the Gorgeous Swords to Plowshares. Um, it is a matte black with gold foil card. Um, this card is uh, a white land card. Um, it's not a land card, but it's a white, you know, power card. Um, it's an instant. It's exile target creature, and its controller gains life equal to its power. Swords to Plowshares is an old card. I think it's two um, and a white in, in order to cast it. Beautiful. I think that's a fantastic card. So that's number one. Swords to Plowshares. Number two, we have see if I can get a little better focus on this guy. This card is actually upside down, which is interesting, so we'll spin this around. And this is Grim Tutor. Look at that guy, let's see if we can get, there we go, gets some light on it. Grim Tutor, um, this card is insane. It's a kind of semi-matte, semi-foil treatment. Um, I believe this is for one black. Search your library for a card. Put that card in your hand, then shuffle. Lose three life. So, wow, just a fantastic card. Gorgeous card, gorgeous art. Um, you guys can see that this uh, Mischief Collective, is, they do not <laughs> mess around. Um, they've got really interesting uh, tastes and I'm sure inspirations. Um, the third card in this, uh, and I'll have to keep an angle just so the light catches it the right way. Third card in this um, secret layer is Blood Moon. 
Um, it looks like it's a two colorless and a fire, uh, and it's an enchantment. Non-basic lands are mountains. So I believe you would be able to turn everyone's non-basic lands into mountains, perhaps, um, you know, advancing your agenda while um, crippling your opponent if they're playing anything other than mountains. And that's some beautiful artwork, so hopefully I'm doing it justice. That's the third card. Uh, maybe let's put it right there. And the fourth card is no less interesting. Um, let's see if I can just get the right amount of focus on that guy. We've got Cut. Um, it's a sorcery, so for one and uh, red, um, Cut deals four damage to target creature. Um, and actually, sorry, this is Cut to Ribbons. And we've, it's, a, it's one of those dual cards. Um, so for ribbons, um, for X colorless, depending on your land situation, and for two black, it's a sorcery. Um, each opponent loses X life. So, I mean, could be the game winning move right there. Um, this card is overall matte, except the gold foiling, which you have in the halo and cut, and in the I would say the daggers and the uh, robe in ribbons. So, absolutely gorgeous card. Okay, and last but not least, we've got Teferi's Puzzle Box, which is just really, really cool looking in person. Hopefully it comes out on camera as well. Um, it's for, I think for four colorless, it's an artifact, so that, that makes sense. At the beginning, of each player's draw step, that player puts the cards in their hand on the bottom of their library in any order and draws that many cards. Wow. You could really interrupt somebody's gameplay and strategy with this guy at the beginning of each player's draw step. So, I mean, you play this card on your turn, your opponent is already putting his, um, his cards on the bottom of their library next turn. Fantastic. And these cards, I must say, have all come out pretty flat. I mean, as far as, you know, foiled uh, secret layer cards go, I would consider these flat. Um, so I'm very um, happy with that. And then last but not least, we'll take a look at the, uh, the bonus card. And I'm sorry about the camera bumping here. Okay, and we've got a basic land of planes. And I think this is the guy that's peelable. Um, I think that's right. I think you can peel this and hopefully so on the right, I can I can kind of display what you get from peeling this because I don't want to take this out of the uh, packaging. Um, we might save this for our, our 250th sub prize. Um, and so I know there's a lot of sealed collectors out there who value this wrapping, but that is a really cool planes. Yep, let's go golfing for sure. All right, guys, so thanks so much for tuning in. Um, this is pretty much the recap of the secret layer. Um, Thanks again for your support. Thanks for tuning in. Um, again, if you can smash subscribe, smash the like button, and leave us a comment down below, we'd very much appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Uh, we'll keep the content coming. I think we've got about 17 more uh, secret layer boxes to go through. So make sure you stay tuned in. And hope you have yourselves a great day. TCG Dad signing off. Peace. Ch -ch -ch.